Rainer sent you? Why? I just found the most fascinating... Wait, where am I? I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not you're part of this elaborate trap, but I sense that you're not an illusion. Oh, I can feel the spell, however, crawling back, trying to slip into my mind. What an odd sensation. Hmm. I remember that we discovered something or another, but the details elude me. Perhaps if I had more time to recover from the effects of the spell... Oh, wait a moment. Uh, Tellinger said something important just before I became engrossed in this relic. I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really quite clever and dashing to boot. <laughs> he reminds me of my... my good friend, Stibbins. Thank you. I'm going to get out of here. I need to find someone. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little. You won't find your artificer, and you'll never leave here alive! I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. Would you like me to be? I think my imitation of him is nearly perfect, don't you? But now that you've discovered my deception, you have to die.
fish to go with the river's flow are the dead. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little. You won't find your artificer, and you'll never leave here alive! I'm rather busy. Would you like me to?
I take it that you are the one who read my note? The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non-Daedra eyes examined the writing. I do hope that you are a member of the Force from Tamriel. If so, I have something to show you. This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. Something on the other side seeks to pierce the veil of illusion that hangs over this ruined library. Hmm, it's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. If we can acquire it, then this excursion will not have been a complete waste of time. Hmm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The sources of power she used to hurl the hollow city into Cold Harbor. Come in and we shall investigate further. Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Because I don't completely trust myself. While I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Find the power source and meet me at our camp outside the ruins. And take this token, just in case. Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you get lost, use the token and it will return you to the portal. What was once a curiosity that won me fortune and acclaim is now a vital tool in our mission. Free me from Molag Baal's bondage. Find them and bring them to me. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. What power I still possess shall keep you safe. Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? By the eight, that crystal! It is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. If an agent of Meridia harnesses this power force, we shall gain a distinct advantage. Come back, my friend. By the... With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Thank you for your help. You know, you remind me one of my students. Once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. 
We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Moloch Vol's plane meld mechanism. There is always research to do in campaigns such as this. Ah, there you are. The groundskeeper said you had a pickup. I assumed she was talking about this merry band. Good to see them alive and well. They are alive, right? Not that I mind the odd zombie, it's the spell I can't abide. Nasty, that. <laughs> yes, whenever I visit a library and do some reading, I usually fall right to sleep. Can't keep my eyes open. Great for when I get insomnia. But enough about my sleeping habits. I shall do my heroic duty and bring them back to the city unharmed. No worries there. Almost all the people I've traveled with over the years have remained in one piece for the duration. I've seen the odd dismemberment, but that's far more the exception than the rule. Thank you so much. I could never have done that by myself. Raynor's sleeping right now, but when he wakes up, I'm going to tell him how great his device worked. I just wanted to say... what I mean is... Oh, bother. I'm not really very good at this. Thank you. For rescuing us, I mean. Thank you so much. I did have another favor I'd like you to do. Stiffens hasn't shown up yet. I haven't seen him since I got lured into that library. I'm surprised he wasn't out here with dinner ready for me. He probably went to higher ground, such as that peak over there.
these swords. They must be a clue. Now, where did those fools run off to? Nothing ever changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. Outsiders. Show them the penalty for entering the moonless walk.
You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I... I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest, but you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp.
Pass the cat, Snake, and we'll end your life quickly. You will not harm him. This one does not understand the game the little elf and the snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our victory. It's in there. I know this to be true. We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help. And he will help us in return. The wood elves started hunting us almost as soon as we stepped into this dread forest. They killed Captain Alfari in cold blood. I barely escaped. The snake thing found this one, lost and injured, and led me safely through the woods. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I wish I could go with you, but until my injuries heal, I would only slow you down. Good luck, my friend. This one doesn't know very much about this area, but this one always has opinions. Ask what you will, and I will answer. It's the least I can do. The little elves are ruthless killers. They call themselves the Shadow Walkers. As far as this one can tell, they hunt and kill anything that enters these dark woods. They never even gave us a chance to beg for our lives before they killed us for it. Kamu never saw her before. She stepped out of the shadows, but she didn't attack immediately. It is apparent to this one that she is anxious about something, and she seems eager to help us. Perhaps too eager, if you know what Kamu means. When we were searching the woods, we ran into a few snake things. They attacked us when we got too close. They never seemed to actively hunt us, though. And of course, that sneak thing over there helped Kamu. I did notice something else, however. When we were resting at one of the campfires, a group of snake things rushed toward us. But they didn't attack us. They charged the elves sneaking around our camp. The two groups don't seem to like each other. They may even be at war. Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. 
But if we were seeking allies, Kamo would choose the elves. They are strong and capable. They could be a great help against Molag Bar. Well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. But Kamu can't deny their ferocity. Perhaps they are worthy of consideration as well. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I could help you, though. No one knows that tower better than I do. But I need to ask for your help in return. It's important. You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower, assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood. But that's never going to happen. Like me, you've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. You know about the plane meld. You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molag Bal destroys it? Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you aid me and convince my people. You've seen my people fight. We're trained to kill. It's what we do. Maybe. Maybe if you can show them that Molag Bal has been using us. Lying to us. Maybe they'll see his treachery for what it is and join your cause. We shall help you enter the tower. But first, you must help us against these foul wood elves. Do not listen to their lies. They murder our children for no reason. Please, you must help me save the little ones. We never asked to be dragged into Cold Harbor. We never made a deal with the Daedric Prince. But ever since we got here, the Wood Elves raid our nests and slaughter our children. This cycle of murder needs to end. You are a hero. You stride through Cold Harbor with confidence, and not even the Wood Elves can touch you. You can win this battle for us, and we will be in your debt. We will show you how to enter the tower, even help you in your mission. They are monsters. They destroy our eggs and slaughter my people. If you aid the Wood Elves, we can never trust you. The Lamias are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you help us end our war with the Wood Elves. You will? We have waited such a long time for someone to aid us in our struggle. You have made me very happy, outsider. Now we can get our children back. Now we can have our revenge. So, you will? The vile and ruthless Wood Elves smash our eggs just because they feel threatened by our numbers. They even hold some in their dwellings, using them as hostages against us. This is not a way to live. We must get our eggs back. They keep our eggs in their camps, holding them to keep us docile. They force us to stay near our own nests, hunting us down if we wander too far. We want our children back. We need our eggs. The tower. Yes, the tower. We will help you with that and so much more. But all of our eggs must be returned. They hide our eggs in their filthy camps. You must enter their homes to rescue our children. But be very careful. Such an intrusion will result in great pain and death if they catch you. 
I will find you near the Wood Elves' camp. I have ways of moving through the forest unseen. Can be dangerous, but worth the risk. I will do anything to get our children back. I will show you how to get into the tower, full of shiny treasures, I'm sure. And we will become your allies against the Daedric Prince. Even fight at your side, if that is what you wish. Wait, outsider. A moment more of your time. I get it. My people killed one of your own. They aren't evil, though. You have to understand. We signed a pact to protect this forest. The Shadow Walkers believe that if they fail to honor that agreement, we're all doomed. Well, yes, I can't argue with that. I understand why you'd want to side with these creatures. I also know you need to get their eggs back. But my people don't need to die while you do it. Recover the eggs, but don't hurt my people. I'm not asking for anything you can't do. And I'll go with you when you're done, to help. I've been planning to leave anyway, so now's as good a time as any. You can use me, just don't kill any Shadow Walkers, please. The Shadow Walkers watch the forest, but they're too confident. They leave our camps practically undefended. You could sneak in, get the eggs, and get out. You can do it. I know you can. Please, just consider what I'm asking. <laughs>